battery B is connected here, battery drives the current which is I. Now I current reaches this point, right? Here current is going to divide, <coughs> right? What is the current? That is I1. Now the current is going to divide. What is there? I2, right? Whatever the current, here I1 is passing like this. Next. Here I2 current, I2 current reaches here. I2 current reaches here. Right. I2 current once again splits here. I2 current once again splits here. As a IG, as a IG, right? Now that is as a I3. Now IG comma IG current passing through the galvanometer. Right? What is the current coming? IG current is passing through the galvanometer. Here I1 is there. Now what is the current that is let us consider I4. This I4 current is passing like this. This I4 current is passing like this. Now I3 current is passing like this. This is the I3 current. I3 current, I4 current both are combined to reach the negative terminal. Now once again battery B drives the current here. Here at this point, the current is going to be divided. Some of the current, I1 is passing through like this and I2 is passing like this. At the point C, I2 is going to divide as I3 and IG and IG current passing through the galvanometer reaches the jacky. Now here, that is IG current, here IG current, I1 current, both are combined to form as I4, I4 go on reaching this point. Here I3 is reaching here, the inward current I3 and inward current I4 both are to combine to form as a I. Therefore here the current distribution is similar to the Wheatstone bridge. In the Wheatstone bridge P and Q are resistances. Now this is similar to the P. Now this is similar to the Q. And this is similar to the, what to say, R. And this is similar to the, yes. Now, what to do, how to do. Now, what is the procedure? Before going to start, if the jockey is placed at A and B respectively, if the galvanometer shows equal and opposite deflections, then the circuit is said to be right. Now that is after connecting the X. Next. Now the jockey is moved along the constant and wire AB at a particular position the galvanometer shows zero deflection. Actually in the initial stages, in the initial stages the high, rest high resistance box may be present, may not be present. In the initial state, high resistance box is present. High resistance box is connected in the circuit first. As the high resistance box is connected here, a little amount of current is passing through the galvanometer. Now, when the, right, when the high resistance box is present in the galvana, in the circuit, an approximate null point is going to be calculated. Right? Whenever you determine the approximate null point, approximate null point, remove the high resistance box and calculate and determine exact high resistance point, exact null point. Now here the jockey is moved along the AB wire, jockey is moved here. See the galvanometer deflection, our jockey is moved here. See the galvanometer deflection, jockey is moved here. See the galvanometer deflection. At a particular position of the jockey, at the particular position that the jockey is in connect with the, what do you say, constant and wire, the galvanometer shows zero deflection. Let us consider this point is called, what do you say, D. This point is called D. At the D point, the galvanometer shows, that is, zero deflection. Whenever the, the jockey is connected with the 
d point as the galvanometer shows zero deflection then the d point is called null point right the point on the constant and where where the galvanometer shows null deflection when the jockey touches with the constant and wire is called null point now as the jockey touches at the d point the if the galvanometer shows zero deflection then particular point d is called what to say null point now here the total length of the wire is l sorry the total length of the wire is 100 cm now what is the length of the wire l right now remaining length is called what to say 100 minus l right whenever the galvanometer shows zero deflection then the meter bridge is said to be balanced as the meter bridge is said to be balanced what is our formula p by q is equals to r by s now here for constant and wire for constant and wire constant and wire right the resistance per unit length resistance per unit length resistance per unit length is rho let us consider for constant and wire the resistance per unit length is rho for 1 meter what is the length rho for 2 meters what is the resistivity resistance 2 rho for 3 meters what is the resistance 3 rho now for l meters what is the resistance l into rho now for 100 minus l that is what is the resistance 100 minus l into rho therefore now that is the first case resistance of resistance of ad wire the resistance of ad wire right what is the length l is the length right what is the resistance per unit length rho therefore l rho is the resistance of the ad wire we are taking the constant and wire it has the particular resistance resistance per unit length is rho resistance per unit length is rho for 1 meter rho is the resistance 2 meters rho is the resistance 3 meters rho is the resistance for 1 meter rho is the resistance 2 meters 2 rho is the resistance 3 meters 3 rho is the resistance 4 meters 4 rho is the resistance for 1 meter rho is the resistance for l meters what is the resistance l rho next one next second one resistance of resistance of db wire the resistance of db wire what is the length 100 minus l 100 minus l into rho now here the resistance of ad wire the resistance of ad wire is equals to r which is similar to the wheatstone bridge right the resistance of db wire is equals to s is equals to rest now that is according to the wheatstone bridge condition p by q is equals to r by s p by q is equals to r by s what is the p the resistance in the resistance box r what is q q is the right resistance of the unknown wire x what is r r is equals to this is the resistance right r is similar to the resistance of ad wire resistance of ad wire is equals to l rho what is the resistance of db wire similar to s s is equals to what do you say 100 minus l into rho therefore here rho rho gets cancelled therefore r by x is equals to l by 100 minus l therefore x by r is equals to 100 minus l by l therefore x is equals to 100 by l minus 1 into what to say r 
now this is the formula to determine the resistance now unknown wire is connected here now jockey is moved along the ab wire at a particular point there is a null deflection in the galvanometer that point is called null point now let us consider this is a null point what is the length what is the length maybe 30 centimeters maybe 40 centimeters maybe 50 centimeters that length is substituted here 100 by l minus 1 into r right r is the resistance which is kept in the resistance box therefore by using this formula we can calculate the right resistance of the unknown wire right now to compare the resistances to compare the resistances right to compare the resistances to compare the resistances to compare the resistances right first wire of resistance x1 first wire of resistance x1 whenever the x1 is placed now the jockey is placed here or here or here or here or here suppose at this one at this point null point is we getting as we are getting the null point here what is the length l1 is the length therefore that equals to 100 by l1 minus 1 into r next remove the first resistance keep the second resistance second resistance resistance value is x2 is equals to whenever the second resistance is kept once again the jockey is moved along the ab wire where the null deflection we are going to get the null, null deflection we got at a distance of l2 thereby 100 by l2 minus 1 into that is r now on dividing both therefore x1 by x2 is equals to 100 by l1 minus 1 by 100 by l2 minus 1 by substituting the l1 and l2 we can compare the two resistances what is the third use <coughs> to calculate the resistivity of the material of the given wire suppose third one resistivity resistivity to calculate the resistivity to calculate the resistivity already we know that resistance is equals to rho into l by a this is the formula now from this formula right rho is equals to right r a by l r a by l therefore rho is equals to rho is equals to r into a a is a cross sectional area pi r square by l now let us consider a piece of wire is made of silver silver resistivity you want to calculate now let us consider a piece of wire which is made of copper now resistivity of the copper now that wire is placed here here as the wire is placed here once again the jockey is moved along the ab wire where the galvanometer deflection is zero at a particular point that point is called null point then calculate the what to say null point distance l by substituting the null point distance we can get the resistance therefore now rho is equals to for a given wire what is the resistance x right next right pi is a constant pi is a constant now for a wire for a wire that is there is a cross sectional area by using the cross sectional area by using the screw gauge right you want to calculate the diameter right diameter is divided with the two you are going to get radius therefore r is square next one and for a given wire there is a length by using the scale you can calculate that is length therefore length is here therefore here by substituting those values in this equation you will get resistivity right now here in this case resistance is called x pi is a constant by using the screw gauge we can 
measure the diameter of the wire the diameter is divided with that to radius we are going to get and length by using the scale we can measure those values are substituted then we can get the resistivity therefore by using this meter bridge we can measure that is we can determine the resistance to compare the resistances to calculate the resistivity of the given material of the wire.